We get to talk roses now, everybody, and this is a special offer for a couple of reasons. First of all, it was on the air last year, last year's garden season, completely sold out. Yeah. So we're thrilled that we have it for you this year. However, this preseason price expires at midnight. And that's that. So if so you want to take advantage, you do? Oh, no. <laughs> yes. um, if you want to take advantage of that value, you need to do so before midnight. So you can get it for 3226 as opposed to 3584. These are also our only quantities of the season. This is not a choice of you are getting both of these rose plants and full size, full bare size, root. bare they root will do roses this, this year. Look at that. So this here is tequila. That's tequila. And you, All right. You're getting mighty brave being yes. over there with the tequila. I'm staying <laughs> over here with the cherry parfait. <laughs> By the way, I've got a whole bed of just cherry parfait. We what offered it as a single rose. item some years back and I love it. Look how close it is and I've seen it in all the trial gardens. It's beautiful. I see it on the West Coast. I see it down uh, down uh, in um, Clemson, uh, South Carolina. Yes, they had them down there and all I use them also for my clients in Greenwich, Connecticut. These are gorgeous, gorgeous and we pair that with tequila. This is a real hot mm. designer look and you will love these together because it's a great Fiesta party. Well, and I, if you picked up that Fiesta Tropical Hibiscus. I was just going to say, I love the tequila along with that Fiesta. Yes, I mean, it's time to if party, If that's not children. a party, I don't know what is. And bouquets. These are nice big flowers. They're not going to quit on you. But what I love about these is that they have good foliage. Mm -hmm. A lot of rose bushes. Their leaves are not so great looking. Right. They drop them, they're, they're prone to disease. I've not had problems with these at all. And they mound up to about four and a half to five feet tall. These are nice big size roses and full size flowers. We've decorated this one up a little bit just in honor <laughs> of Fat Tuesday. So we're saying, saying goodbye to the Mardi Gras season. But look how beautiful the flowers are in a bouquet. And see, you wouldn't think about putting these two colors together, but look how handsome they are. Love it's it. a It's a unique and unusual unusual combination. Let's show everybody how to plant Let's do. a bare Love root that. rose bush. You may not know how to do that. They're easy. Might be new for you. Um, and, and give me again, I always ask this of you, give me some, you know, rose growing 101. What are okay. some of the essentials well, that people need to know? The more sun that you have the roses in, the more flowers you're going to have. Okay. This is a two year old rose bush that we dug up out of the field cut back. It's going to be as big as what I'm showing you over here. Yeah. And then I've got my bigger digger uh, again here because we've gotten a bigger rose plant for you. You can find that and, on QVC.com if you're yeah, looking and, for and, it. And you'll love these. I was glad that she got this bigger one. Yeah, it's great. Um, so what I do is I dig the hole down and in a container or in the ground and I also get a softball uh, size hand of dirt because as you can see there's a hollow place in mm -hmm. the root zone there. Right here. See that open there? You don't want air to be there. So I put that down there. Then I nestle my roots in around it and then I fill in and I use my fingers. You know a lot of people think oh I've got to have gloves on and everything. There are no thorns down there where the roots are so stop worrying. Right. Anyway fill in around like that and then firm it in and then water it in of we'll course. Wa water this in really really well. Am I fertilizing at this point? Not yet. Okay. Hold on, Nellie. All right. And get this done. Now, if it settles down some, then you add just a little bit more soil around there, and then I mulch mine. Okay. Once this has leafed out, then you fertilize it with a bud and flower booster specific for roses, customer top rated, 100 gallons worth. Wow. And you use it on all of your roses every couple of weeks. You know, I've got roses in my garden that I bought at the grocery store. Yeah. And you know, I buy them all over. I'm not a snob about plants. Mm -hmm. Certain things that, you know, I want really special and other things, you know, I just get them when I see them. Yes. And if you're having trouble with your roses, it's usually a nutrition problem or they're not in enough sun. Okay. Full sun fertilize them every couple of weeks and you should have these flowers that we're showing you right here. Cherry parfait of the shrub roses. That was my favorite one in the garden and I'm adding the te tequila to it this year because I'm ramping things up. <laughs> Are they now, fragrant? Um, the cherry parfait is extremely fragrant. The tequila has only a slight fragrance, okay. but it makes up for it in that hot, hot color. In fact, if you picked up our beautiful Fiesta Tropical hy Braided Hibiscus, it's that color. Gorgeous. And so they're, they're handsome companions. And just because things come in pairs doesn't mean you have to keep them in pairs. Right. You can move them around and, and play, up, play off of that in another area of the garden. In fact, that also would work great with um, 
those uh, peppers we've got coming up. What about some of the sun patients? Oh, the sun patients too, yes. Right. You, you can, and by the way, you can split that collection up too. Right. You don't have to be married to what we've put together. Because I'd some love to see. Some of it can be treated this, like a sampler. I'd like to see this with that apricot crush. Oh, oh God. Right, wouldn't That'd that be, be pretty? Yeah. But I think that orchid lavender would be pretty with that color too. Really, really rich. And then I would do that pink princess over here with the cherry parfait. Are you trying to take my job? Um, no, you just are the best teacher ever. <laughs> so I'm just trying to show off because I want well, an A in this class. You're always going to get an A, your teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, they, I think roses are intimidating because they look so beautiful and you wonder, can I really get great results? Roses are another category from Cottage Farms where people have tremendous results. What about hardiness? If I live in cold areas, are these okay? If yep. I live in hot areas, will these work? Yeah, these are real, these perform beautifully in the very hot areas like down in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. They do really well. These are low um, on disease problems, which I like. And that's what we do. That's why we call it gardening made easy. Yes. Is that we're not going to bring you things that are going to bedevil you. Right. Um, because you know, you've got children for that. Right. And so uh, you want flowers, you want big flowers, things to cut and bring inside. So they do well in the cold areas and in the hot areas. The trick with, with roses is to give them enough light. Okay. Give them plenty of light and also to keep them well watered, but not in a boggy area. If you're in a really cold area and they're in a container, what I do is I mulch the crown of the pot, pull it next to the house. It doesn't have to go inside, doesn't have to go in a garage or anything like that. Just pull it in like that. Mm -hmm. But mine are in the ground because these do get big. These would be four and a half feet tall. Wow. Just a great, great look and beautiful, beautiful results. Price goes away at the end of the day. You have about two and a half hours to take advantage of that. That beautiful orangey yellow tequila and then that wonderful, again, white and pinkish red of the cherry parfait. Stay on the line for those. You get both of them. I mean, really, for what you'd pay for one, you're getting two, M53266. They're the stars of your rose garden. Now, we talked about our bright white Shasta daisies earlier. We brought in